Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can start delegating your votes in Polkadot OpenGov, how you can undelegate, and also how you can unlock delegation uh, locks after you undelegate it and uh, after the conviction voting uh, lock expires. We are on the Polkadot.js user interface and currently connected to the Kusama Relay chain. And for this tutorial, we will use the KSM stash account. In order to start delegating our votes, we can go under Governance and Referenda. We click on Delegate and we can choose the account we want to delegate from, and in this case, the KSM stash. We can see here that this account has no voting delegating activity and we can choose the track that we want to start and delegate. And basically, if we choose the root track here, any referenda on this uh, track can be voted from the account that we choose to give our uh, voting power to. And we can also choose to apply the delegation to all the tracks here. But uh, in this tutorial, we will just uh, delegate a single track, the root track here. Then uh, we need to specify the amount of uh, delegated votes. And finally, we need to choose the conviction. The conviction basically gives us a multiplier for our vote. In this case here, there is a 1x multiplier and it goes down to 6x at the expense of a longer period of locking our tokens. So this conviction voting locks will start the countdown when we start to undelegate. So as long as we have the delegation active, the countdown for, for the lock will not uh, start. You need first to undelegate and then wait the um, locking uh, period and the lock to expire. And when the lock is expired, we can uh, unlock the tokens. We choose the 1x voting uh, multiplier. Then we click on next. Here we need to choose the address that we want to delegate. We can choose from the Polkadot fellows here. And uh, here we have a list. Or option, optionally, we can go under the Polkadot delegation dashboard. And here we have another list of uh, all the entities that uh, they are currently active with uh, delegations. We can click on uh, each one of these uh, entities. And uh, if we click on the mosaic here, we will copy the specific address. In this uh, tutorial, for simplicity, we go to fellows and we delegate to Joe. We click uh, to delegate and uh, we click sign and submit and uh, we sign with the stash account and we can see we successfully delegated our votes. If we go to delegate, we can see now that uh, we are delegating the root track and here the status is delegating. We can choose now to delegate other tracks and uh, of course the root track will be not uh, here in the list because we are um, actively delegating this track already. If you use this uh, specific uh, delegate button, this delegate functionality, we don't have any possibility to undelegate. So this menu here is uh, only to delegate votes. If we want to undelegate, we go to developer, extrinsic, we select the account that we want to undelegate votes and um, we select the palette conviction voting then we select uh, the function undelegate and we select the track id in this case is zero and this is the root track we can click now on submit transaction sign and submit we can sign with the ksm stash and uh, we successfully undelegated the root track if we go back to governance, referenda, and uh, delegate, we can see zero votes. So from now on, the um, conviction voting lock started the countdown. There will be seven days. And after seven days, we can uh, issue another extrinsic to unlock the tokens that we currently have um, locked. We can go under extrinsic and uh, we select the KSM stash that um, has currently the, the lock. And um, we also select the palette, conviction voting, the function, 
unlock. Then we specify the track ID. In this case, is the root track and the account that uh, we want to remove the lock. And here we will need to select the KSM stash. Of course, right now the lock is uh, still in a countdown. So seven days didn't not um, pass, but um, and we can try to submit the transaction and it will fail. But um, after seven days, this transaction will be successful and you will be able to successfully unlock your votes. If we go back to accounts, we can see here that um, we have 0.5 KSM locked and we can see that uh, this lock is via referenda and is basically um, a conviction voting lock. But uh, what if we want to re-delegate uh, these votes and um, maybe change the amount that we want to delegate to the specific track? Well, we can do this. Um, we can go back to governance, referenda. And remember that this button here is only to delegate votes. And uh, currently we have zero votes on uh, the root track and we have a um, conviction voting lock that started. From here, we basically cannot re-delegate votes to this um, track, but we actually can. So we can go back to developer extrinsic. We select the KSM stash, then we select the palette, conviction voting, then uh, we select the function, delegate, and we select the class, zero. Then uh, we need to also select the specific address, and here we can put uh, Joe's address, the Polkadot fellow that we chose before. Conviction voting, we select the 1x multiplier. And here, under balance, we can choose. We can put 0 0.5 as uh, we put before, or we can uh, decrease or also increase the balance. In, uh, in this case, we can uh, put uh, 1 KSM, so we want to increase the locked amount, basically we want to increase our votes for, uh, for this track. Then uh, we click on Submit Transaction, Sign and Submit, and uh, we sign with the KSM stash. We successfully re-delegated the um, root track to Joe, and we doubled the amount of votes. We can go under Governance Referenda, under Delegate, and uh, we can see that uh, we are now delegating again. If we go under Accounts, we can see that now the locked amount is 1KSM via referenda. It is important to understand that uh, in order to increase or change the amount of votes for a specific track, the only way to do so, if you are already delegating, is to undelegate that specific track and then delegate again specifying a new amount or a new um, entity that you want to delegate your votes to. All right, I hope you learned something today, how you can delegate uh, your votes, how you can undelegate, also how you can unlock the votes after the conviction voting lock expired. Thank you for watching and uh, I see you in another tutorial.